like the halls with tons of stuff. But la 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 la, it's not Christmas. Not anymore. I'm Harry, Harry Potter. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain. I can't hear you. Joe doesn't get any of my SpongeBob references, and it's the worst part of our relationship. <laughs> hey guys, Tazzy here, and I'm back with yet another Harry Potter haul. For today's haul, I'm going to be showing you things from some of my favorite Harry Potter small businesses, a great alternative if you don't want to buy officially licensed merchandise, and you get to support a lot of creative and hardworking people who love Harry Potter. It's the best! Also, if a small business that I mention isn't open right now, or if the items that I'm talking about aren't in stock, I would suggest following them on Instagram because that's where they post a lot of updates and restocks. I follow so many on Instagram and it's the best. <laughs> Everything from today's haul will be linked in my description box below, so make sure you check it out. If you're new to my channel, hello, make sure you are subscribed. I'm currently trying to get to 700,000 subscribers, so if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Pretty please, thank you. Also, follow me on TikTok. It's my favorite social media app right now, and if you tag me in a TikTok that you think that I'll like, I will watch it. Please tag me, I want to see them. And make sure to stay till the end of this video because I'm going to be unboxing three subscription boxes that were gifted to me from Wizards Vault. The women who run this company are amazing and I can't wait to open these Harry Potter boxes. All right. Let's do this. The first thing is this sweatshirt that I am wearing. Look at how beautiful. Oh. This embroidered sweatshirt is from Enchanted Oddities. I love it, it's super comfy. This is a size medium. Fantastic Beasts, and where to find them? On my boob. <laughs> I also just love the color of this sweatshirt. It's giving me like cozy Hufflepuff vibes that I'm always striving for. I'm just really into embroidered sweatshirts lately. Like, I don't know what it is, but I want them all. Which is why I bought two more from Enchanted Oddities. This one has the golden trio. With these beautiful Harry Potter book stars. Seriously though, look at how detailed this is. I just love the trio so much. Bruce. I'm gonna have to put you outside if you keep doing this. Why are you so chaotic? Ow! <laughs> and this sweatshirt might be my favorite. Oh, there's so much cat hair on it, but <laughs> this is my favorite because it says, don't let the muggles get you down, which is one of my favorite Harry Potter quotes of all time. Because the muggles will always come for us, they will never understand, but we will not let them bring us down or ruin our magic. These two are medium. This one's a large. I prefer medium because it's like still a little big, but not huge. I'm a small person, so. I like it to be a little baggy, but not crazy. Next, I got this. Can you guys believe it? My very own Hagrid butt cake. I feel like I've been waiting for this my entire life. It's so beautiful, I could cry. And even though it looks real, this replica is not edible. This is not made of cake. See, I can pick it up with my hands. It's like those memes where everything is made of cake, but the opposite. I'm not made of cake. This is not made of cake. You are not made of cake. I mean, maybe, I don't know. And it came in this cake box, which Bruce chewed up, just ignore that. <laughs> but look, there's like little bits of frosting on the box which makes this look like even more real where the cake touches. I bought it from the Fantastic Things on Instagram for $69. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and if you are interested in buying one, message them on Instagram and you'll be put on a waiting list depending on how many orders they have. Again, this is handmade. So always remember to be patient with these small businesses. They are putting love and care into each order, so we have to respect and appreciate the art that they create. But seriously, I am a Hagrid butt cake stan. I bow, I bow down. down. I bow down. Oh, no. Next, we have this Corona Quibbler from Nomad Chris. I found his shop on Etsy and I just fell in love with his creations. I thought this idea was so creative and just a great way to remember like the hell of this pandemic. I shall always remember it in Quibbler form. You guys know I'm a sucker for a good wand. That, that sounded bad. <laughs> 
I still like, okay. But you know, you know what I mean. Like a wand, like a wizard's wand. Okay, sorry. I'm not talking about dicks. I'm talking about wands, wands. Anyway, I got these wands. <laughs> So one of my favorite wand makers that I love following on Instagram is Brown and Lobin. And I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I like pronounce everything wrong, so I apologize. <laughs> he is a master wand maker and he made me these. Harry and Hermione's wands from the first movie. Do you guys remember when they had these wands? This is like incredible. These are pure magic and make me so nostalgic. Just look at how beautiful they are. Can you believe that a person handmade these? Like what? I cannot get enough of them. They are beautiful. They're so special to me. I love them. Now let me show you some things from the DA headquarters, Dumbledore's Army HQ. The first thing is this. This is the classic Dumbledore's Army signature list that everyone in the DA signed, including me. Yes, you can customize it and add your own name to the list. How freaking cool is that? I definitely would have joined Dumbledore's Army and hated Umbridge with all of my being. So this is perfect. <laughs> I also got this 24 karat gold DA coin, so I know when the next meeting is. It's so incredible. I just love when replicas feel so real. And how gorgeous is this DA resistance journal? It smells so good. <laughs> Each journal is handmade, made to order, cut, painted, burnished, and stitched by hand. And, I love this little pocket in the front for my DA coin. It's perfect. There are so many personal customizable options like here, like my name is on this. And when you open it up, there's a field manual that has all the different spells inside. And there's some notebooks at the back. This holder can also be used for a pen or I like putting my wand in there. Look how cool that looks. And speaking of wand holders, wait for it, boom. The DA headquarters makes this little wand holster. So it holds your wand and a DA coin. You could use it for cosplay or you could attach this to your purse and bring it to the wizarding world. Also, it has my initials on the back. It's so cool. Everything from the DA headquarters is just so cool. You can tell that so much hard work goes into making these. I'm so obsessed. Next, let's talk about Ordinary Owl, the shop owned by Cherry Wallace, who is one of the most magical people that I know on the internet. She has her own YouTube channel. She's been on my channel before. And last year, she opened up her own shop. The first is this. It's a Ravenclaw dueling club sweatshirt in navy. Look at this metallic embroidered crest. Look at these colors. Blue and bronze, baby. None of that silver nonsense. <laughs> I can't wait to wear this when I duel Professor Lockhart and kick his ass. What house do you think would be the best at dueling? I feel like Ravenclaws would be pretty good, but maybe they would like overcomplicate things. The next thing from Ordinary Owl is this common room customizable sweater. Yeah, look at it. You can choose the embroidery color to represent your house. I got a T for Tessa, but an R for Ravenclaw would have been cool as well. The quality is amazing. These are like so comfortable. I feel like so many of the house sweaters that I own are so itchy. These are not itchy. They are very, very comfy. Ordinary Owl also sells magical candles, which I cannot get enough of. <laughs> First, there's the Winter Witch Candle, an enchanted candle perfect for your inner witch on a cold winter's day. And it smells like cranberry, orange, and cinnamon. Oh, oh my gosh, it smells so good. This smells like me sitting next to the fire, reading a book, drinking hot chocolate while snow falls outside. 
Next is this pumpkin juice candle. Are you kidding me with this packaging? I like don't want to open this because the packaging is so beautiful. Let's see. Oh, it has a nostalgic pumpkin spice scent. The last candle is the Boney Pony Club candle. Look at the little Thestral on the front. It's so cute. This is the inside sparkly purple. It's like rich, but also really sweet. More candles, please, Cherry. I love them. Technical difficulties. <sighs> the Boney Pony Club jacket. Look at the Destral on the front. This jacket is so warm and so cute. It makes me want to go in the snow. Snow bunny. What is this? Snow. <laughs> I just love Thestral so much, almost as much as I love Cherry. Cherry, this is amazing. I'm so proud of you. I love you. <laughs> Look at these earrings from two different shops. These are from Luna Grove and they are nice lightning bolt earrings. They actually go really well with what I'm wearing. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna put these on because they match what I'm wearing. Oh, I should have worn these the whole time. I'm a dummy. Oh well. Look at how cute these are. Look at them. We love them. I believe they are restocking at the moment. So I would follow them on Instagram to know when they are back in stock. I just love how simple these are. I feel like I can wear these with so many outfits. These also match what I'm wearing. What the heck? Ugh, guys, okay, we need to put these on now. These are Weasley Wizard Weezes inspired earrings from Geekably Cute. They are faux leather and I am in love with them. <laughs> I feel like these are earrings that Luna would wear to support like the Weasley shop. Can't you see that? I can totally see her wearing these. Last thing I got, speaking of Weasleys, are these Weasley sweaters. Yeah! These are from Cookie and Drookie. They sent one for me and one for Joe. I'm just really excited to wear these next Christmas. This one is Joe's. Look at how beautiful it is. Joe's is the blue hairy version because these are also Michigan colors. And my fiance went to the University of Michigan twice. These are the classic like Ron Weasley sweater colors. And this is just my favorite because Ron's Weasley sweater just like reminds me of Christmas. And it's like also Christmas colors. I don't know, I just, I wanted to get the Ron colors. Will I be wearing both of these sweaters? Yes. Am I going to be ordering a new sweater every single year so I have every color of the rainbow? Also, yes. <laughs> In addition to making custom Weasley sweaters, Cookie and Drookie also has an Etsy shop and they have a ton of magical items, so be sure to check that out as well. Okay, I think that's all the things from the haul. So now it's time to do some unboxing. It's time for unboxing, baby. Here we go, Wizard's Vault. So these subscription boxes were gifted to me from Bibbidi Boxes. Along with these Harry Potter inspired boxes, they also have subscription boxes that are Marvel themed, Disney themed, Star Wars themed. They have so many different themed boxes. You need to check them out if you're a huge nerd, just like me. I haven't opened them until now because before I was feeling really sad and depressed and I didn't wanna like open these boxes when I felt bad. Give this company a lot of love because they waited a long time for me to unbox them. So they're so nice and patient and amazing and I can't wait to finally open these. Oh, it says Gringotts Vault. <gasps> oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Look at this purse. Holy crap. I can't believe this is in a subscription box. That's insane. Socks. Oh my gosh. Are they Dobby socks? Oh my gosh. I think Dobby's on here. <gasps> These socks say Dobby is free. <laughs> wow. Two amazing items right off the bat. And there's more stuff in here. It's a chocolate wand. I've had these before and they're so good. Oh my gosh, and it's the dark chocolate kind too. That's my favorite. How did they know? Oh. <gasps> this is like the most me thing I've ever seen. It's like so professional looking, but then it's Harry Potter. <laughs> a beautiful quote. I think there's one more thing in here. Aha. 
a Ravenclaw patch. Oh, I'm so excited. Wow. And I still have two more boxes to open. Okay, box number two. Let's see what's in here. Da -da -da -da. Oh, that is the cutest little Christmas thing ever. I want to put this on like every single Christmas card that I send out next year. <laughs> Look at this Honey Dukes tumbler. <gasps> Uh, the vibes, the vibes this gives me. Oh, I don't know if you can read it, but it says Happy Christmas. Is it a candle? <gasps> oh my gosh, it's a candle. Oh, oh my gosh, it smells so good and it's sparkly. Oh, a little Ravenclaw ornament. Perfect for my tree. Oh, it's a Ravenclaw hat. Ravenclaw hat. Oh, oh, here it is. It's a Luna pin. Love good. Last box. Box number three. Come to me. Yeah. I can always use another quibbler. What is this magical chest? What is in here? Oh, there's, there's a little piece of tape. Let's look inside the magical Harry Potter chest. What is in here? What is this? It's little note cards, so I can write little thank you notes to all the people I beat in Quidditch. Wow, Quidditch cards. That's fun. What is this? Oh, Sugar Quill. Oh, another Danielle Nicole bag. Oh, this one's fancy for the fancy Ravenclaw in your life. We also have a chocolate frog. Hey, that's me. I'm a wizard, Harry. Oh my God, and the back says love good. This is very cute. I love the back. Oh, I have a new son. Hold on, I have to get my other one. I don't have a small purple one. So sweet. Guys, what should I name him? Please name him in the comments. You have a new baby. Guys, that's it. Yay! Thank you so much, Biffity Boxes, for those three incredible subscription boxes. I'm like blown away by the stuff that's in there. It's amazing. <laughs> Thank you for sending those to me. Let me know in the comments your favorite Harry Potter small business. I love supporting them when I can. And if you own a Harry Potter small business and you would like to send me something, just message me on Instagram. I love helping out small businesses whenever I can just because I've been there, I've owned my own small business back in the day. I made bow ties and it was a way for me to make money when I really needed it. Comment below your favorite thing from this haul and thumbs up this video if you want me to make any more haul videos. Comments and likes really help my videos be seen by more people. So if you wouldn't mind liking this video and leaving a comment, I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can join my Starfish family and geek with me every week. Yes, every week. I promise every week. I know I haven't been every week, but I'm coming back to being every week, okay? Every week. <laughs> A big shout out to this starfish who had my notifications turned on. If you turn on my notifications and leave a comment with the hashtag starfishfamily, you could get a shout out in my next video. Check out my description box. Thumbs up if you like this video. And don't let the muggles get you down. Stay gold, starfish. Bye! I feel like a stupid bitch this morning. <laughs> is it the morning? It's the afternoon. What time is it? I don't know. It's the kitten. The kitten is here. Are you gonna be good while mama films? You gonna be good? Stop playing. <laughs> His little paws are going like this to me. <laughs> or if the items that I'm talking about aren't in stock. <laughs> if you're new to my channel. <laughs> uh, what else I wanna say? <laughs> I'm like trying not to scream in pain because this cat is clawing me. Why are you so chaotic right now? Mommy's trying to film a video. Is the lawnmower man back? Why is this happening right now? Okay, one more fuck time and then I'm just cut that whole thing out if I can't get it. They sent what? They sent one? Ugh. I'm choking. Myself. What a wonderful
what a wonderful 